It was strongly influenced by Bud Powell. The sparkling melodic lines and unerring rhythmic sense carved a very personal style of his own. Who was Sonny Clark? Here on Big on Bebop. Sonny Clark was born on July 21, 1931 in Hermione, Pennsylvania, a coal mining town east of Pittsburgh. His parents were originally from Georgia. His father, a coal miner, died of lung disease two weeks after Sonny was born. He was the youngest of eight children. He began playing the piano at age four, then the bass and in vibes. At age 20, he went to California with his brother, who was also a piano player, to visit his aunt. He decided to stay and start working with Wardell Gray. He briefly went to San Francisco with Vito Musso and Oscar Pettiford. After a couple of months, he settled in Los Angeles, recording with Teddy Charles and Wardell Gray in 1953. He started working with clarinetist Buddy DeFranco in that same year. Clark toured the United States and Europe with DeFranco until 1956 of January. He played and recorded with Sonny Chris and Frank Rosalino, and then joined the Lighthouse All-Stars led by bassist Howard Rumsey. Wishing to return to the East Coast, Clark served as an accompanist for singer Dinah Washington in February of 1957 in order to relocate to New York City. In New York, Clark was often requested as a sideman by many musicians, partly because of his fabulous comping. He frequently recorded for Blue Note Records as one of their house musicians, playing as a sideman with many hard bop players, including Donald Byrd, John Coltrane, Dexter Gordon, Art Farmer, Jackie McLean, Hank Mobley, and Lee Morgan. From 57 to 1962, Sonny Clark freelanced with Sonny Rollins, Johnny Griffith, Charles Mingus. He also led a trio with Sam Jones and Arthur Taylor. As a leader, Clark recorded albums Dial S for Sonny, Sonny's Crib, Sonny Clark Trio, and Cool Strutton. Sonny was hospitalized in late 1962 for a leg infection. He was released early in January, only to die of a heart attack a few days later. Eleven Albums as a Leader, a book of memorable compositions including Cool Strutton, Dial S for Sonny, News for Lulu, and Minor Meeting. All the more impressive when you consider Clark's musical life only lasted 10 short years before he joined the sadly voluminous list of jazz's heroin casualties. One of the top stylists of the Bud Powell School, Sonny Clark was a highly influential jazz pianist known for his lyrical style and contributions to the hard bop music during the 1950s and early 1960s. Sonny Clark, one of the great bebop pianists. <laughs> 